Welcome back, True Seeker. Want to again talk about Damian Lillard's scripted three-pointer, which I literally called in a live stream yesterday. The Blazers winning in a close game and Lillard potentially hitting the game winner. I'm going to talk about how scripted this was, how we saw it before it happened. We've done this many a times over the years, calling these scripted games that the announcers are always screaming out. You couldn't have scripted it any better. Called damn near every championship, college and pro, the last five years that I've been doing this. And still got people coming here every day going, you can't script sports. Yes, you can. And you script them to the point because they're using technology. Let me prove my point for the millionth time. Shout out to Time Lord for taking this video. I didn't actually see the shot myself, but I've seen plenty of these scripted shots with the technology before. This is undeniable, unless you're a brain-dead retard, which are the same people who are questioning and critiquing my work in 2019. You straight up gotta be fucking retarded to be taking a stab at my work. Nobody's called more championships in the history of the world than I have in just the last five years, and that's a fact. And we call games every single day to the point. You know, go see what I said about the Rangers beating the Houston Astros and it being a tribute to George Herbert Walker Bush, who died at age 94, and they beat him fucking 9-4. to four. Go see my work on the Yankees last week where I said there's no way they'd lose. The game was all about 26, and the final score was 2-6. to six. This goes on every single day. Now watch this shot. And shut the fuck up, critics. You have to be fucking retarded to deny what you're about to see. Watch the ball hook. Watch the ball hook to the left. To the left. Watch the ball hook from the left to the right. Do you see that? Do you see that? Is it big enough? It is clear as day. This shot's off to the left, and it bends back to the right and goes in. And if you pay attention, this shit happens all the time. Look at these unrealistic ball mechanics off the rim. I was just watching number 45 for the Jazz. By the way, Jazz equals 45. Dan Tony picked up his 45th loss in that last game to the Jazz. But some of his shots, I mean, give me a break. And, and this stuff just goes on every night. It's all technology. Watch the ball hook. Watch the ball hook to the left. To the left. Watch the ball hook from the left to the right. Exactly. It's just like these field goals I talk about in the NFL that are bending out sideways of the post and then all of a sudden in midair they change direction and fly back through the uprights. They're using technology in sports. It's undeniable. Either that or these people are fucking magicians. Now, again, scripted to the point. Let's talk about this. Let's just go over it again one more time. Lillard hit a 37-footer. I'm always talking about Portland and 37. And by the way, Portland's my city of birth. Portland equals 37, okay? Oklahoma City picked up their 37th loss of the season last night. That's how you knew they were doomed in the series because it was lined up that their 37th loss would be the one to close them out of the series. So look at Lillard's birthday, July 15th. Like I'm always saying, these people are born for their sports. July 15th can be written 15 slash 7, like 157, the 37th prime number. Portland 37. OKC picks up the 37th loss on Lillard's 37 foot footer. You know, he had a miracle shot the other year in the playoffs when the Blazers advanced for the first time in forever. So here's what I talked about before the game. From the game to Lillard's birthday was 83 days. Notice Blazers equals 83. You see the 11 weeks and 6 days and 2 months and 22 days? I'm going to show you just how coded this is actually. I'm going to show you just how coded this is. You see how Portland's also 116? Like 11 months and 6, or hold on. Like 11 weeks and 6 days? Portland 116 and Portland Blazers. You see the 222? Two months and 22 days. You see how perfect it is with his birthday? You know? And what's weird is I have all these new people on my live stream. Yesterday I showed how perfect it was for the Blazers to win, and then I had all these people calling in immediately. Like right now, how weird. Going, Zach, there's no way the Blazers are going to win. There's no way. And I was just saying, and one guy's like, if you don't see the script, you can't call it. I'm saying, I'm just showing you how perfectly lined up the game is for Lillard and the Blazers. So some of these people on my live stream, I think they're suspect. But um, also from Lillard's last birthday 
to the game was his 283rd day of his age. That's the 61st prime number. Blazers, with the exception for the master numerology, which is the 22 on E, Blazers is also 61. Oklahoma City with the master numerology is also 61. K is 11 there. So Lillard hits the big shot to advance the Blazers to end Oklahoma City's season on the perfect day in line with his age. If you use the exceptions on um, Portland Trail Blazers, it's also 99. And like uh, we talked about, if Lillard did hit the game winner, he's from Oakland. They'd win the series 4-1. to one. We talked about all this before the game was even played. Oakland 41. Shot came on the 113th day of the year. The National Basketball Association 113, the 30th prime. The Blazers stayed at 30 losses on the season. And um, look at Damian Lillard's full name. Damian Lamont Ollie Lillard Sr., I've actually talked about this number with him in the past, 118. His full name equals 118, and his game winner gave the Blazers how many points? How many? 118. And I got critics in 2019 after doing this for five years straight. You got to be fucking retarded. And I get sick of listening to you fucking morons say, you must not be an athlete. No, you fucking retard. You must not be a fucking athlete. When I was a child... I used to think, hmm, maybe I should be getting millions of dollars to play in these games because these guys fucking suck. Watch how often these professional athletes just fucking suck. What are they doing? Like they don't know how to pass the ball. Like how they don't know what to do in the most crucial moment of the game. Like how they don't know how to rebound. Did you see the Pistons yesterday? Did you see Drummond go for the rebound? It just right there. Their whole season's on the line. All of a sudden he can't pick up the ball. He's fumbling, bumbling, stumbling. He fumbles the ball straight out to the Milwaukee player who's just wide open for the three-pointer while the to put the game away while the season's on the line. I mean, it's the same shit every night. You just got to be fucking retarded to not see through these rigged fucking sports games. You got to be fucking retarded to keep coming back to my videos and talking shit. If your name's Tony Camps, just shut the fuck up, you little schoolgirl. God, you make me sick. You can't rig hockey. Yeah, talk to the, the dude out in New Jersey who's won every single fucking night of the NHL playoffs, texting me and asking me for one pick. One pick. He probably shit his pants last night because he bet big cash on the Sharks who came back and won. But every single night, I've given him one team that has won because that's how scripted these games are. If you want to go through the games each day and find the most scripted game, you can almost win for certain every single time. You can't call every single game. Just like watch my breakdown yesterday, the games that I put out that I like, they all hit. Some games I said it was too close to call. That's the way it is. Get tired of all you fucking losers out there. Learn your place. Insignificant nobodies. Too dumb to see the fucking obvious. You think sports are legit because you're a fucking retard. Because you're chemically poisoned. You know? You don't take care of yourself. Period. Until next time.